What's something that's illegal now, but used to be perfectly normal? Used to buy dynamite at the hardware store. My dad and I used it to remove stumps. Sending your kids to the store to buy cigarettes. Cigarette vending machines. No age restriction. Just drop couple of quarters in and pull the handle. Smoking at school. My HS had a smoking area for students. Dosing your baby with OTC laudanum so you can go out dancing all night. Or so my grandmother said, a couple of flappers overdosed their babies and they stopped selling laudanum in the drugstore. Public executions. What do rich people snack on? I used to fly people around as a private jet pilot. They could order anything they wanted, seafood platters, fruit trays, meats, cheeses, whatever. And the plane was always loaded with a standard assortment of snacks. From simple to exotic. The thing I had to refill more than anything? Oreos. Asterisk. Rich people like tasty sugar just as much as the rest of us. I used to work for a billionaire. His snack? Fritos. My boss makes 10 plus mil a year. Real number IDK. What I do know is that dude eats three mini bags of Funyuns every single day. Cocaine. Extra fancy potato chips. Imported meats and cheeses. What is the worst health advice you've been given? My primary doctor kept telling me that nothing was wrong with my thyroid. And I was a hypochondriac. I had been told at 12 years old that I had thyroid issues and she told me that doctor was wrong. I had to see a whole other doctor to get a referral to the endocrinologist because she literally refused to refer me to one. The endocrinologist said, I had scarring all over my thyroid. I had Hashimoto's. And my levels were horrible. And she didn't know what the doctor was talking about. She said she was glad I advocated for myself. I was not the recipient of this advice, but I had a co-worker proudly say how small her new grandchild was when they were born and that her daughter smoked her whole pregnancy to try and have a smaller baby. This was in like 2010. Not the 1960s for reference. ETA. Smoked cigarettes. Clarified since that can mean more than one thing. Was sick for a year in my late teens. Saw multiple specialists to find the cause. Experimented with diet. Saw a naturopath that did some electric pulse test thing that apparently gave indicators of organ health. After a few visits and months of eating the weirdest shit, the test said things were improving, including my gallbladder. Months went on but I was still quite sick. I eventually ended up in hospital and one of my specialists decided to take my appendix out on a whim to see if it might help. Turns out I had something called a grumbling appendix, and it completely fixed me. Funny thing is, while they were in there, they discovered I was born without a gallbladder. When I had an urinary tract infection someone told me to wash my vagina with vinegar. Just push through whenever you're sick. If you can get to a doctor's office for a doctor's certificate you can get to school, college, work. Doctor said certain pain is normal as you get older. Turns out it was cancer. If you could call yourself 5 years ago and had 30 seconds, what would you say? There's no time to explain. 2020 to 2022 will be the pandemic years. Buy shares for Pfizer, JNJ, and something called Zoom. Ignore Skype. Hey, just checking in, dude. We're doing the same thing as five years ago. Cat says hi. All right, see y'all later. Buy crypto and sell it before November 2021. Peace. All right, listen up, you little shit. In five years, you will have 30 seconds to call yourself from five years ago. Think of something better than I did. Dad's gonna get sick again. It's not lung cancer. Make them treat him for throat cancer. Maybe he could see me get married next year. Break up with him the first time you want to, no matter what he says. 
Don't drive home. Stay where you are. The tacos aren't worth jail time. No license and $10,000 in fees, fines. Most expensive tacos ever. What is the worst candy bar ever made that is still on store shelves today? Anything made by Palmer. Just waxy sadness. Till that Butterfingers has a new recipe. I will happily take all the almost joy and mounds bars off y'all's hands for you. I'll tell you what I want to see more of. Score. Only seen them at gas stations and damn they are tasty. The new Butterfinger is garbage. I miss the old recipe. Subscribe, my brothers.